My name is Erik Steenstra. I've built this tracked vehicle uh, for events to pull wheelchairs with adults in it. Uh, just to uh, have a good time with them and with children and they love it. I've done it on Lego World in Copenhagen and in the Netherlands. I made it now a little bit stronger. Had some problems with gearing. Fixed it now two hours before closing of the event, I believe. So it's working now. And it's really strong. It has got uh, 48 motors for propulsion. Every brick has three motors. Uh, steering is done by the controller on top that has four motors uh, using uh, touch sensors for back and forward and color sensors in six different colors for the speeds. And it's just uh, to have a strong, strong uh, tracked vehicle to pull the wheelchairs. That's it. And how does the controller work here? The controller. It's uh, on rotation sensor of small motors. And it's, uh, it can uh, initialize itself to zero. But there's gearing in it and it can go wrong. So if it goes wrong, I have a button. It reinitializes itself and it can go on. And at that moment, it also stops the vehicle. I use this for all my creations. Now you can demonstrate how, what it looks like. <laughs> you see, I've, I've using the lights to give the direction that I know where it's going. If, if every brick that I see is uh, reacting in the right way, I have to watch out because otherwise I will kill that thing. <laughs> You've got some competition over here. <laughs> yeah, who will win? <laughs> you see, it's reasonable fast for such a big machine. It's around 25 kilos. Just do, the, do the tracks pr work pretty well in terms of keeping it going? Yes. Uh, it's doing really great because I can pull a wheelchair that's 100 kilo with uh, somebody and it is 20 kilo, so it has enough friction, even on this floor, to pull somebody.